Hello everyone and welcome back to your second Roblox scripting tutorial. Now in the previous video, which I recommend you go and watch if you have not already, it was on properties. And in that video, we encountered an error. And the error was that we uh, were writing some code which set the transparency property of a part which was named part in the workspace. But actually, we had then gone on to rename the part before we ran the script. And so it threw an error in our code. Now, I'm going to show you how you can debug these errors because sometimes you'll be thinking, well, you know, why is this script not working? Sometimes it might not even throw you an error message. So how do you figure out the line where your script stopped working? So imagine we've got lots of lines of code here, right? Let's just set this one to Alvin blocks so it will actually work. Right, let's put this at the top here. Let's just do a couple of these. Right. So in these lines of code, one of them is not going to work. So let's imagine we didn't know which one was going to cause the error. Uh, what we could do is we could use printing. So if we print, we can print a message to this output window, which I spoke about yesterday, or yesterday in the last video. So we can print out a message and that message could be a number like 32 and it will appear in the output window. Yeah, there you go. Can you see that? It's printed out 32. Now you can also print out text, but like I said in the previous video, you can't just go writing out text like this, you know, hello guys, that's not going to work. And then you've got these uh, lines underneath because the script is confused. So what you need to do is because it's text, we need to wrap it in a string by using speech marks. So if we use speech marks, it goes pink, that tells us it's a string. And now if we run, the code is going to print my text, hello guys. So this is just printing a message to the script. So you can see the potential uses uh, of printing. You could print out to say that a certain line has ran. So we could do a print saying the script has started running. And we can do another one after the, the second line to say executed line two. And let's do another one saying We've executed line four, so we've we've got past line four. And um, we could do another one to say we've got past line six. And let's do another one at the end to say we have finished running. Now you don't have to do prints, you know, they're not you don't have to have a print to make your script work. This is just to um, tell you to give you messages to make sure that your script has operated and ran correctly, right? You don't have to do this for every script. I would only do this when we encounter an error. So let's run the code again and see what happens. Right, so we've got our, our error here. And we can see that the script had started to run, it printed the first print, and then it's set the transparency of the part Alvin blocks to zero. That worked fine, no errors there. And then we go on to line three. You see it's printed out executed line two, so we've got here. And then uh, it doesn't print out this one, so it doesn't print out executed line four. Instead, we just get this error. So you can see it works in order. So the script started running, that's line one, then it's executed line two because it's got this far. Uh, but then we've got an error on line four. So the script has totally stopped. So when you get an error, the script just uh, grinds to a halt. It stops in its tracks, so it doesn't go any further. It's got to this line and it's thought, right, okay, game.workspace.part. So I'm going to look in the workspace for an object that's called part. Oh, it's not there. Uh, uh, there's no object called part in the workspace. I don't know what to do now. So it's going to just stop right there. And it's going to say, right, that's it. I've had enough. And that's the end of this script. So it's not even going to print executed line four. It's not going to do any of this, even though this code is correct. Because we had an error up here, the script has stopped. And you can already see why errors are such a problem in scripting. Because imagine if this script was your main game script, which was like controlling your game loop. So you had a murder mystery game and then you get an error, right? It's going to just stop the game everyone's going to crash out the game and leave. So errors are really bad. And most of the time, they're caused due to typos. And in this case, they are uh, indeed caused by a typo because we called this part part instead of Alvin blocks. So if you see an error in the output window, don't fear. Just try and use printing to identify where the problem happened if your script didn't work. 
Your script, when you get an output message like this, an error message, it should usually say which line it fails on. In this case, it said line four, and it gives us the script name. It tells us that it was a server script. We'll get into what server scripts are in a later video, but it gives you a, a decent error message saying part is not a valid member of workspace. You can interpret that as the script saying, I looked in the workspace for an object called part, but it wasn't there, so I stopped running. And now that I fixed the problem, let's run the script again. And here you go. So again, ignore this error here. It's completely unrelated. You can say, you can see here the script started to run, executed line two, executed line four, executed line six, and we have finished running. So there you go. The script ran perfectly without any errors. And once it gets to the bottom of the script with no more lines of code to go, it will just stop running. So this script is no longer running. It has executed. It is at the end of its life. Thanks for watching. Drop a like if this was useful to you. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any future scripting videos and I'll catch you in the next one.